Well, as I was in town today, I bought myself a new socket set. Ta da! Look at that. It wasn't cheap. I um, can't remember how much it was, about two and a half thousand. But I don't have a ratchet in this size, so that's a good thing. Probably going to use these sockets as a secondary. Got plenty of sockets down there, all well used. So yeah, good. And also, I bought a new screwdriver set. I've got plenty of screwdrivers here, but they're all a bit grubby. The ends are starting to go on some of them. So, again, I'm going to use this as my secondary set. Try not to get them too dirty. Lovely. Happy Christmas. <laughs> okay, let's get cracking cleaning some of this up, shall we? Right, there's a preliminary degrease. I'm just gonna go and wash this off and see what we've got. Yeah, that's muggy. So I've been working on this casing for a while when I mean, it's looking quite good. But what I've been doing, areas like this where I can't get in there with a brush, and this isn't coming off with a degreaser, I've been using a screwdriver. I'm not actually scratching into the aluminium. I'm just taking off the blackness. <coughs> it's time consuming, it's laborious, but it does work. See, I've already cleaned this side off, but I've still got to do all this. Yeah, it took a lot of time, but I think it looks good. It's effective. Been the sandblast in it. So let's get cracking doing some more. And there you go, that's how it's got to look. Gonna take time. Uh, I'll do the whole inside here, the outside, the inside. I mean, the inside's looking quite good, so minimal stuff to do there. I'll get back to you. Well, let's get this second half of the crank casing clean, shall we?
Well, this is the first clean. It's going to need another one. Yeah, that's grubby. Okay, let's rinse this off and see what we've got to do. Okay, it's not come out too bad. Just getting in and doing the finer points with a screwdriver. <laughs> Unfortunately, nothing will get in there. Anyway, I'll get this done and get back to you. Then that just leaves the two outer casings. Clutch casing, oil pump, and the dynamo casing. What I'm going to do, I'm actually going to paint the engine casings and the outer panels or the covers. I'm going to polish, or I'm going to try. I might even just do the round covers here. See how we get on. Well, there you go. There's all the aluminium casings done. They've cleaned up really well. Really happy with that. I'm going to give them a going over with acetone before I paint. The engine casings. Uh, I'm going to paint the clutch casing, magneto casing, and I'm going to polish these two. So that's what I've decided to do. So next, I'm going to clean the coils, magneto, oil pump, carburetor, fuel tap, and then we can start thinking about getting it together. I had to order the bearings here from a company in the UK called Yambits. Now, if you are looking for Yamaha parts, I highly recommend them. They've got quite a lot in stock. They ship worldwide and it's pretty cheap, you know? Like I said earlier, I'll give a listing of all the costings involved, give you a price breakdown. Great well, stuff. my parts arrived from Yambits today. I do believe that's the rev counter. Yep, Teco. And that's the Speedo cable. Here's the gasket for the gear lever in the engine, which I didn't have. Push rod, genuine Yamaha part, lovely. And here are the bearings. These two are for the crank. And the other four for the gearbox. Two roller bearings. And a big one, small one. Great stuff. I was a bit shocked when it arrived though. When Yam bits, it took about a week, which wasn't too bad, FedEx. But I didn't expect this. <laughs> I mean, I paid four and a half thousand roughly for it. Then I paid another two thousand in import duty, thirty percent, one thousand four hundred thirty-nine baht. Customs VAT seven percent, four hundred thirty-six baht. And then we've got to have a handling fee, haven't we? Duty handling fee, 185 baht. And we'll tax that as well with a VAT, 7%, 197 baht. Motorcycle spares, yeah. So it's cost me half again, really. Never mind. At least I've got all the correct bits now. So let's have a look at a few other bits I got in the post between the last video. Okay, engine casing stickers. And I do believe there's a black line in there somewhere. Um, I've got a hub. I should have cancelled it. I did order both the front and the rear hub, but I decided to cancel it just in case I could uh, restore these ones. But I think it's good enough, so I'm going to order a front one as well. I believe these are for the mirrors, yeah. Mirrors and brake and clutch lever. 
lovely jubbly. Got a switch for the lights, indicators and the horn. Brake lever, clutch lever in black. Got new uh, reflectors, these got chrome on them. Reflector's fine, but the chrome's gone. And a new brake switch, rear brake switch. Handle grips and throttle and throttle body. Wing. Chain guard. That wasn't that dear actually, I think that was about 600 baht. Uh, this one came from America, I don't know if you remember. But this goes on the back of the mud guard. This one is hard plastic, this one is soft rubber. Again, genuine Yamaha part. Front brake cable. Gear change, lever. Bling. <laughs> I'm not sure if I featured this in my first video, but there's a rear brake lever. I said I was going to get a new one. And, voila, a new set of clocks. Lovely. They're not actually the ones I want. These are for an RX600. They've got one connector. The ones I need have got high beam written, neutral written. I think that's the all right. And I think this has got three connectors. So I'm going to rewire it so it works. I mean, this is 1,900 baht. For an original one of those, you're looking at, uh, I think it was 2,900, so another 1,000 baht. So yeah, I should be able to rewire that. Excellent. So I've been doing some more cleaning. Like I said, I'm gonna spray these. I'm gonna give these a white band with acetone. I'm gonna put them together, and then I'm gonna spray them. I don't really wanna put paint on the inside of the casing. Probably gonna do the inside of this one, but I won't do the inside of these. I've cleaned a few other bits up. Here's your magneto. Come out quite nice, doesn't it? Oil pump. I'll give it a good clean up. I haven't dissembled it. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to, to be honest. I haven't got a gasket to go on here. And I think they've used instant gasket. So I might just give it a clean up and leave it as it is. Looks okay. Fuel tap. It came up all right. Carburetor. Where's it gone? Ah, it's outside. There you go. I'll give it a spray up. Looks good, doesn't it? Put a couple of cardboard pieces in the end, stop the paint getting in there. Mast off the brassy bits. Yeah, looks great. coils I think one's a battery coil and one's an ignition coil uh, I'm not overly sure I'm not really good with electrics but I'm gonna have to work it out <laughs> oh well you live and learn but yeah I've re done the back plate I resold with all these cables I hope I've got them around the right way but yeah that looks good What I want to get on with now, I want to get on with doing these engine casings. I think they're clean enough. I'm going to give them a wipe down with acetone where I'm going to paint them. And inside, to give it any other bits and pieces of dust and dirt. 
Um, I'm going to polish these up. I started to do this one, but it's going to take a lot of work. So I'm going to spray that to match with that. That bit needs to come off. Okay, let's get cracking. Okay, so I'm going to spray it and I'm actually going to spray inside this because this is a magneto housing there's no oil in here just makes it look nice and clean I know it's hidden but a bit of dirt in there There, there's the engine casing sprayed up. Looking good. Yeah, I like that. I have sprayed up the old magneto. Why not? Well, that's what the engine looks like. Both its casings on. Very nice. Let's get down to polishing these round pieces up. Well, there's the chassis, the wheels, forks. Just need stripping down now. I took the wiring loom apart and quite honestly <laughs> it looks like spaghetti junction I'm going to try and note what's what but there's a lot of wires here that don't go anywhere so it's going to be quite a puzzle putting it back together I might even try and get a new one let's get cracking taking the rest of the bike apart take the wheels off strip it down to the frame
cleaning that to be done. I think these tensions are going to have to be renewed. And then we've got a new plastic Yamaha at the front. Not sure about the horn, but let's get the yokes off. Get the head bearings out and let's see what condition they are in, shall we? I'm not going to strip any more off the chassis now. I'm going to save that for part four. The wiring on the headlight side looks just as complicated as the stuff I was doing on the side. I'm not looking forward to doing that, but I have been looking at the wiring diagrams and it does uh, all fit. Like I said, I'm probably going to get a new wiring loom. Also in part four, I want to get the engine rebuilt if I can all the components now I did try polishing some of the side casing here and uh, it's getting there it's not bad hello but I think I can do even better anyway if you did like this video do give me a thumbs up do give me a comment do subscribe if you're new to my channel and I'll catch you on part four mm -hmm.